Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a Vintage Chic Sense haul. So this was from the pre-order she did beginning of July, I want to say. It was right around the time Robert and I got married. That's all I know. <laughs> and so this is the last haul you'll see from her or from me of her for a while. Um, as I've said before, August 1st, I started my wax ban and I have a small list of things I will buy if I get low on them. Most of my favorite scents I do have in stock, like Cafe Reggio, Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again, with Strawberry Fields Forever. Those kind of scents I am pretty good on. Uh, Purple Haze, I've got Loaves, and I've got Bulk, um, Lucy and Ethel, you know, those kind of scents. So I feel like I'm pretty confident. The only thing that I'm concerned about is... I know she mentioned starting next year, she was going to be going back to producing less. So basically take the advantage of doing these pre-orders because next, you know, start next year, it'll be, you know, different. And so I'm kind of nervous about that because what if it gets Hunger Games again? I kind of wish she would continue doing these same like pre-order styles that she has been doing that way it's not cutthroat that way you know you can get what you want or whatever so I don't know what it's going to entail for next year all I know is that I need to keep my wax to what I have and not add more so I do have some other vendor stuff coming in over the next couple weeks and then I'm pretty much done I'm not buying anymore I haven't bought anything since the, the 31st of July was the last day I bought something so um today is now August 13th so I'm almost two weeks in. <laughs> um, it's it's very hard. The first month is pretty hard. Then after that, it gets a lot easier because I did do a six month wax ban um, last fall and winter when my ex husband and I separated and everything. I had done a, I had been on a six month wax ban. So I'm not hurting for wax. The problem is the FOMO, the fear to, fear of missing out. I'm afraid. Oh, if I don't get this, I'm never gonna see it again or whatever. I really need to get out of that mentality. So. Um, there is one scent I would really love to pick up for winter, and that's frozen hot chocolate. So we'll just have to see if she offers that in loaves or not. I do have two samples because I did place two pre-orders. This first sample is pumpkin coffee, 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 which I actually did get some of these in the Etsy shop. So the, for those of you who don't know, she has her website and then she has an Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop primarily consists of the three pack of those little vintage roses. And this smells super good but anyways so she'll do replenishes on the etsy shop and then she'll do like the loaves and the souffles and stuff on the website and that's been her business model she usually does have stuff always on the etsy shop so in between pre-orders or in between orders sometimes she'll replenish that as she's pouring pre-orders or you know sometimes she'll do extras from the pre-order and put them on so it just depends um but this is really good i'm glad i had grabbed some in the other and then I got Times Square Countdown, Strawberry Green Apple Champagne. I'm going to save this for New Year's Eve. I love this one. This is a really good scent. All right, so I did get a few souffles, and I did get a couple loaves. Not my typical big, you know, but I don't need to go big. I have quite a bit of stuff. So I picked up two souffles in Witch's Chair, which is Vanilla Lace and Vermont Honey Apple. This scent I love. I would definitely get this one in a loaf strawberry witch's chair is really good too i've had the pleasure of having that one thing i would pick up on my band is blueberry rubbles i had some of the blossom squares in that scent a long time ago and oh my god um i love that scent that one and sweeney's sweeney's i would pick up in a i have a, a i have like a list of things i would buy i'm not gonna just buy willy-nilly like i usually do so then I got cherry cupcakes at Tiffany's. I'm really getting into cherry scents. I never used to like cherry and now I'm liking it. And this smells so good. I did have a couple things that I had gotten that I wound up de -stashing. Excuse me. One was a loaf of, um, it was Count Your Blessings. It was so strong on cold. It actually gave me a headache on cold. I said, okay, if it's that strong and headache inducing on cold, I can't melt it. So I de-stashed that. And then I did de-stash my loaf of Blackberry Warrens. Blackberry has really been bothering my nose lately. I don't know. It, I've never had an issue with her Blackberry. Some Blackberries can be perfumey. I've never had an issue with her Blackberry. However, lately all blackberry has had this really just sour note to it and it's not it's not there but something's wrong with my senses so i wound up de-stashing i was sad because i didn't want to 
but I was like, okay, I have a lot of Warrens, regular Warrens here, so I'm okay for now. All right, then I grabbed Nellie Rose's Fresh Strawberry Cobbler. This one smells amazing. I love Kirby's Strawberry. Mm, that's so good. It just smells like a strawberry, you know, bakery. And then I grabbed a Souffle in Dr. Sleep, Lavender Vanilla Palo Santo. So I did have two samples of this. I did melt a whole sample and, you know, I cut it in half it two different nights and this is an amazing blend even robert who doesn't like lavender loves this blend and then i did grab two of the two pack of leaves i grabbed a misery which is pine balsam cedarwood bergamot raspberry eucalyptus mint and musk this one's going to go in the fall and winter bin probably the winter bin this one smells more wintry to me And then the other one that I grabbed is Jackie O on Cider Lane. Now, I absolutely love Jackie O um, mixed with things. So, and I love Cider Lane. And this is just an amazing cider birthday cake. And I got three loaves. I did actually grab a loaf in Dr. Sleep as well. So, I have the souffle and a loaf. So, that'll hold me for a while. I grabbed a Cupcakes at the Cafe. I love, again, her strawberry is absolutely amazing. And then this should not come as a surprise to anybody. But I did grab a loaf in Carnival of Souls. Now, I do have another loaf that I had gotten when she did the pop-up restock sometime last month. I had grabbed a loaf. Plus, I have a loaf from 2017. So that makes three loaves. Now, for you guys who have followed me for a while, you know, this is my number one favorite fall blend um, from her. And anything that has that marshmallow fireside. But when you mix that cider donuts and the pumpkin cheesecake with it, it just brings out such an amazing scent. Um, and this is my top favorite fall blend. Other than plain marshmallow fireside, or I've been really loving the marshmallow fireside mixed with bonfire bliss. Um, so yeah, but that should not come as a surprise to anybody. That's very quickly, I used to hate that scent and it very quickly became like my number one favorite. So that is everything. Again, not a huge haul, big enough. <laughs> and so again, this is the last one you'll see for quite a while just because of the fact that I'm not buying. Um, yeah, so I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.